Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot and replace the rear wheel speed sensor on a third generation Dodge Ram. This particular truck here is a 2006 1500 4x4 model. With a faulty sensor or an issue in the circuit, this will trigger both the ABS and brake lights, and you may notice issues with the speedometer. The speedometer may be intermediate or not functioning at all. When scanning with an OBD2 code reader, you'll have a rear wheel speed sensor circuit code. Keep in mind, not all code readers will be able to scan the brake codes. First, I will be demonstrating how to test the circuit and then is the replacement. Locating the ABS module, which is under the hood behind the battery. There is a connector that needs to be disconnected. In order to do that, pull back the red clip, then depress the tab and pull the connection off. Look for any corrosion, this can be a common area for corrosion. Mine was fine, so I did apply Deoxid D5 spray to clean and protect the connections as a safety precaution. With the plug disconnected, using a multimeter, test the resistance between pin 1 and 8. Probe each of the pins. Here we are looking for between 1600 to 2300 ohms at about 24.5 degrees Celsius or 76 degrees Fahrenheit. My sensor was within the range, however I was getting intermediate readings, so my sensor was faulty. If your sensor is outside of the resistance range, then it is faulty and will need to be replaced too. Leaving the plug disconnected on the ABS module, continue to disconnect the plug on the rear wheel speed sensor. This is located on the top of the differential. The easiest way I have found to access the sensor is going up in between the axle and spare tire. To disconnect the plug, Use a standard screwdriver to pull back the locking red clip, then pull off the plug. Inspect the plug for any damage or corrosion. D5 spray can also be used here too. The plug will need to be probed and this will determine if there is a short on the circuit to the body. Set the multimeter to the lowest ohm setting, probe the one pin and then the other will be to a sufficient ground source. Do the same with the other pin as well. The resistance should be under 5 ohms, if not on either wire, then there is a short in the wiring and that will need to be repaired. I won't be doing this, however, you can also do a test of the resistance on each of the wires between the ABS module and the speed sensor plug. Here is a connection between each of the plugs. Connecting the ABS module plug, then turn the key to the run position with the engine off. Again, using a sufficient ground source, one probe will be connected to that. And finally probe each of the terminals on the speed sensor plug. There should be no voltage present here. If there is voltage, then that means there is a fault somewhere in the wiring or module. As an additional test, which I won't be showing here, you can also jack up the rear of the vehicle so the wheels are free, then spin them and measure the voltage at the sensor. This should produce a small amount of voltage when the axle is spinning. If you're having issues trying to access the sensor, it can be removed and you can do the same ohms test right at the sensor. Other times the sensor can be in good condition but it's built up with a sludge. The sensor can simply be cleaned using a sensor safe brake cleaner, then it can be reinstalled and it'll be working correctly again. Next is removal and replacement for the sensor. Remove the electrical connector if you haven't already. It fastens to a threaded stud and this may unscrew early during the removal process when removing the nut. In order to remove the nut, this requires a 13mm deep socket with a 3 8 drive ratchet. In order to hold that threaded stud, if it does turn, you will need a 14mm wrench. The brake line bracket is attached to this stud. Rotate the bracket off for the brake line. Next you'll need a 14mm deep socket with a 3 8 drive ratchet to remove the threaded stud. Fully remove the stud. Before removing the sensor, make sure the surrounding area is clean so no dirt falls inside the differential. Then pull the sensor out. You may need to twist it in order to help with assistance out of the hole. Make sure the hole is clean and then install the new sensor. There is an o-ring on the sensor to prevent any dirt or water from contaminating the oil. Try to avoid applying any lubricant so it doesn't contaminate the differential oil. You can twist the sensor in place to help it seat. Align the fastener hole, then install the threaded stud and tighten. Install the brake align bracket and install the 13mm nut and tighten. Finally reconnect the plug, push in the red clip. As mentioned earlier, Deoxid D5 spray can be used here to help protect the terminal. Once the sensor is working correctly, 
The code should erase itself and you're done. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.